everyone, welcome. My name is Gena. I would like to tell you about how I got into martial arts and it has become uh, a love of my life and a way of life for me. Right now I'm in a beautiful uh, Fraser Park, California, uh, roughly about an hour and a half drive from Los Angeles going up north. This has nothing to do with this video. Just thought I'd tell you uh, the location that I'm coming from. I am 51 years old. I was born in 1967 in the country of Belarus. Back in those days, it was one of uh, 15 republics of which uh, the former USSR was comprised of. Uh, it was Russia and 15 other republics or countries. Belarus was one of them. But anyway, uh, the reason why I bring that up is because, sorry, there's some flies flying around. It's because back in those days, in the former Soviet Union, martial arts were prohibited, uh, especially uh, foreign martial arts. What was in, uh, in Soviet Union back in those days, uh, we had boxing and we had uh, sambo, or at least that's the extent of my knowledge in terms of what was allowed back in those days. I've never even heard of uh, any martial arts outside of uh, boxing and uh, sambo. Uh, first time when I heard the word karate, I was already 10 years old. I remember I was at a summer camp and I was playing around with uh, some kid. Uh, but, um, I don't remember exactly how everything came about. Maybe we were play fighting or something like this. I do remember I like to play uh, table uh, tennis or ping pong. And uh, so one day, um, hanging out with this uh, kid, he's my age, and uh, I, we might have been talking about boxing or something that nature. We were goofing around probably. And he pointed to a guy in the distance um, and he pointed to, uh, to the guy and says, well, that guy over there, he practices karate. And uh, I had no idea what that meant. And when I asked him, he didn't either. The only thing uh, the only message that I got from that is that it had to do with uh, combat, martial arts. And that piqued my interest. The word karate in itself, uh, I was pretty much hypnotized by it. I was so intrigued by the sound alone that I have never forgotten that word. I never approached that boy because uh, the, the boy that he pointed out to, uh, he was much older and um, I was pretty shy as a kid and I still am kind of shy and uh, <coughs> yeah, at times it, it is difficult for me to be on camera. So this is one of these things that I'm overcoming. So I was 10 years old when I heard the word when I heard the word karate, and uh, so when the summer camp was over, I went home and I started asking around, like adults and other kids around, and no one had any clue, has never heard of such a thing. What is that? Nobody knew, Nobody, no one could give me an answer. Uh, roughly two and a quarter years later, 
my family decided to immigrate out of uh, former Soviet Union and so my parents decided to bring our family to America. During this immigration, one of the stops was Italy. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna kind of backtrack a little bit to give you a little bit more details why I was so intrigued uh, by that. I'm Jewish by birth. Uh, I am my lifestyle is more of a Buddhist, more so, much more so than of a Jewish person. But growing up uh, Jewish in a country where there has been a lot of uh, anti-Semitism, and uh, people really did not hide their dislike. For Jews, and uh, I was uh, pretty much a minority. The school that I was going to, it was a big school. There was four thousand kids. There was roughly, maybe, approximately, no more than six Jewish kids in the entire school. So, needless to say, I'm uh, I'm small. Uh, even now I'm growing up, I'm only five foot three, which is way shorter than the average height, I'm sure. And growing up, I was very little and a minority, so I was an easy target to get picked on. And I get, got picked on a lot. And of course, I got into some scraps as well. That's you know, no secret. So, uh, going back to the Italy immigration part, one day, uh, one of the immigrant kids uh, comes up to me and says, uh, oh, there's a movie that's being put on for immigrants. Uh, go watch a movie. Oh, yeah, sure. And uh, by the way, well, what's, what's that about? And the kid told me, well, there's, there's going to be karate in there. My eyes just lit up. What? What? Oh man, we're going. I mean, I'm trying to find out what 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 this is all about. I got very excited. So we go into a theater, and uh, of course the movie is in Italian, and I don't speak Italian. Uh, but I can, uh, but I can tell you from my memory, uh, it was basically a mafia kind of movie, gangsters fighting and stuff like that. And this is where, for the first time ever. stuff oh so I thought at that time uh, there were sword fights there were empty hand fights and uh, high kicks high jumps uh, of course lots of yelling and everything like that but I was uh, captivated by these uh, physical feats that people were capable of doing and I thought to myself wow I need to learn this so that I can go back when I can and beat up everybody that has picked on me. You know, I'm a 12 year old kid and uh, yeah, that's, that, that's one of the things that was on my mind. I wanted to revenge, I wanted to avenge and uh, the unjust uh, hurt that I received. So that was my introduction to karate. When the movie was finished, yeah, as you can imagine, kids, me and a couple of other boys, we go outside and we just start play fighting. And I remember I was I was saying to them, "All right, you two against me. I'm, I'm going to take both of you on." And we were kicking each other and you know whatever the kids could do. <laughs> but uh, that was uh, I was hooked. From that moment, I was hooked. Every day. I had no teacher at that time, I was still in Italy. And uh, every day I'd go outside and i just start kicking the air, kicking as high as I can. And um, that, uh, I mean, I got fanatical about it. 
when we finally made it to America, I had no money to go and uh, learn. What I was ended up doing, uh, stopping by like magazine uh, shops, and I would uh, go through all the martial arts magazines I can find there, as well as uh, books on different styles, uh, Shotokan, Gojuru, and uh, you name it, I went into it, and I, I would sit there for a couple hours uh, or whatever time and go through magazines go through books and find stuff that I could understand and that was interesting to me uh, I would uh, look at the uh, techniques uh, self-defense techniques that were done for example I would memorize them and then I would go home and I would uh, I would practice. I would find uh, uh, you know other immigrant kids uh, and try to get them to to practice with me, which was not easy. Most people didn't really care for it, so it was difficult to find a partner. Uh, something was going on with my camera. Low battery. <clears throat> so, my parents had no money for me to go and learn to school, and my father would always say to me, ah, it's just a temporary interest for you, you you're gonna go, and then you're gonna drop it, and it's gonna be a waste of our money. So, my parents just flat out decided, no, we're not gonna pay for you to go and take classes, we're new here, we have no money, we are making minimum wage, and, you know, we gotta support family, there's no money for you left over for you to do that uh, but at that time I think I was about maybe 13 years old maybe 13 and a half I'm still going uh, to magazine shops and I'm still doing that stuff I got me a part-time job cleaning like offices three dollars an hour at that, at that, was at that time and I was that much hours in a week and, uh, but it was enough for me to find uh, some some sort of tutelage so I find this uh, ad in a newspaper uh, there's one guy and he calls himself Tanaka uh, it was just uh, one time a week classes for 10 weeks and it was only a dollar a class so yeah I had 10 bucks I've <laughs> saved, saved it and uh, I started and started going to to this place and this guy he was basically teaching out of some school just a regular school using just one of the regular you know classrooms we would move the desks and there was a there was a couple of other kids showed up there and a couple of adults. It was really introductory, basic. Down block, outside block, inside block, high block, punching, you know, basic kicking, front kick, back kick, roundhouse kick, side kick, whatever. So just really, really basic stuff. But for me, hey, I'm a beginner. I don't know anything. And I was really excited and I, I put my all into it. So that was my first uh, karate instructions.